is going on guys, Matthew B. Haynes here, aka The Clockmaster. Before I start this video, man, if you're new to the channel, you're thinking I'm some DC hater, Marvel fanboy guy, you're wrong. Just because I have the Black Panther shirt and what I'm about to talk about in this video don't mean I hate DC and I hate what's about to, you know, hate everything that's going on with DC right now, okay? I'm never big of a DC fan as I am a Marvel fan. I'm just too lazy to change my shirt and too lazy to change my poster in the back of Thanos, okay? So don't, don't feel like I hate DC. I don't. Anyways, anyways, guys, uh, if you need a channel, nonetheless, subscribe, man. But I'm going to be just talking about all the problems that's going on with DC right now. How to save DC, in my opinion. Is DC even worth saving the DCEU? Worth saving uh, just everything DCEU right now, guys? I think we need to just talk about what's going on currently, especially with Shazam coming out. And, um, but the... Ava DuVernay <laughs> being announced as uh, the director for uh, the New Gods, DC New Gods, and everything like that. So let, let's just get to talk about this. All right, so first things first, I got to say this, man. A lot of you guys who know me know that Wonder Woman is my favorite DCEU film of last year. And possibly, well, it is my favorite DCEU film ever. Uh, I, I put it above. A matter of fact, it's probably it, 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 on my top three right now, Black Panther, well... Uh, Black Panther, Wonder Woman, um, and Man of Steel are like my top three right now. Personally, the, it's always subject to change, but DC, DC, that that's like the only win you have, man. I, <laughs> like I gotta say this, it's, it's. I saw an interesting video from a couple. Uh, I saw actually an interesting video of people talking about how the Avengers: Infinity War trailer alone <laughs> like defeated DC EU, and it's funny. Because it's not wrong. It's not entirely wrong because this is what's been going on, man. And I've said this so many times on this channel. We had Man of Steel. A very promising start. Zack Snyder fan. I love Zack Snyder's work. I like what he, you know, a lot of the vision that he had for DC. And Man of Steel was good. Like I said, it still stands as one of my favorites. Mainly, uh, a lot of reasons too. Because cinematography stuff, choreography for the fighting scenes. And, of course, the score by Hans Zimmer, who's my favorite composer ever. You guys know this. So <laughs> Some of you guys know this. So, there's that. And you had Batman versus Superman, which was just a very big disappointment in the theaters. And then when I saw the Ultimate Edition, the extended version, I was like, okay. So, this is something close to what Zack Snyder was trying to do for this franchise. Then that, you know, that came out. And I'm like, okay, well, wow. I can't believe they did that. And then Suicide Squad, seen it once, never seen seen it again, and I never will see it again, ever. I hated that movie, I hated everything about that film, the score, everything. I dislike that film. I'm never watching it again, I, I'm telling you that right now. There's that, and then you have uh, Wonder Woman, saving grace. The saving grace of this franchise, guys. Gal Gadot, perfect choice, Patty Jenkins, Rupert Gregson Williams, saving grace. Justice League. Now, this big thing surrounding Justice League is the Snyder Cut. Where is the Snyder Cut? We didn't get it, and it doesn't look like we're going to get it anytime soon. Big petitions were going out uh, for months. I signed the petition myself. Nothing has happened, and it looks like nothing's ever going to happen with the Zack Snyder Cut. We got a very cut-up version of what could have been a very great movie. Justice League was an enjoyable film. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it either. There had some picky things I had about it, but then I just looked at it as a fun action movie it was cool seeing all these heroes that i really do love and adore because dc comics i i personally prefer to read dc comics over marvel comic books because right now marvel comic books are kind of boring right now dc's kind of killing it right now in the comic book world um so it's kind of you know fun seeing some of my favorite characters flash being one of my favorites wonder woman being one of my favorite characters and batman and superman literally those are like my four favorites and well, my top, you know, and just seeing them all together, seeing Aquaman, what Jason Momoa did with it, I just thought it was a great film as far as, you know, the the idea was great. Was it a great film in itself? Not really. It could have been better, and I, I was very interested to see, from what we've seen so far of the, of the Zack Snyder deleted scenes, it showed that this movie could have been something more than what it was. It could have been longer, and we could have had a nice Zack Snyder feel to it. What's going on now currently? DC is a mess, it's in shambles, this franchise, in my opinion, is dead right now. And I would say that because the, the, the connective tissue between DC's films is nowhere near to the perfection <laughs> as that is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I'm not here to start a war, I'm just using it for comparison purposes here. Um, you had great ideas, 
And the issue is with this, and I'll get to Shazam in a bit, but in Aquaman, the, the, the issues is this. You, you, it lacks proper leadership. There's no proper leadership within the DCEU. Right now, Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers is in shambles. DC itself is in shambles, switching leaders like hell, switching directors like hell, switching everything. And like no one, I feel like no one is on the same page over at Warner Brothers. No one is on the same page at DC. You have an issue when your DC TV shows are better than all their movies <laughs> combined. You had the 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 Crisis on Earth X crossover. You had the uh, cro- uh, the the other crossover from uh, last year with all the DC TV shows, and they are done so much better than these movies. The Crisis on Earth, on Earth X, and then again, it's a TV show, so you have more time to develop characters, to, you know, to write stuff, change stuff midway. You can you kind of have more time to play around with certain things. You have more episodes to do that. But you have it's an issue when a TV show is better than a highly funded <laughs> um, feature film and projects. It's an issue to me. That that's a main problem. And and there's like I said, there's no leadership within DCE. There's no leadership within any of this, and it's frustrating because I'm getting old, man. I ain't going to be around forever, okay? I don't want to wait till I'm 92 and DC finally gets his act together. I mean, that that's going to be really stressful. Now, Shazam. Shazam looks promising. Uh, Zachary Levi, I think I got his name right this time, looks promising. The suit looks promising, in my opinion. Um, now, I need to see a trailer. I need to hear some plot. I need to see some stuff. You know what I'm saying? When the movie comes out, we'll have to wait and see. Um, and then, of course, you have Aquaman. What has me excited for Aquaman is Rupert Gregson Williams on the score. That has me excited. Um, other than that, can these movies really save DC, these two movies? And then, of course, you have Wonder Woman 2 scheduled to come out, which that I'm looking forward to um, because, of course, Patty Jenkins. But can these movies really save this franchise? And I say no, because the thing is this. You have, how many movies? About 17, 18 movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. The first three movies, if you go from Iron Man, then you go to Thor, then you go to Iron Man 2. And you go, and well, if you want to include Incredible Hulk. Even that, if you want to include those, the first four to five movies of the Marvel Cinematic Universe have already shown more connection than the first four films of the DCEU. That's an issue. And, you know, yes... These movies will keep on getting made because performance-wise and financially, the DCEU has made profit. It has made a lot, it has made a lot of money. Because people keep people like me keep going out to go watch these movies and, and, and seeing it, hoping that every time it will be better. And, you know, we just keep watching it. And so financially, the movies have not been performing bad, really. Um, well, unless you want to compare Black Panther and Justice League, which Black Panther made. Way more than Justice League within one week. <laughs> and Justice League, I think, was in for two months, and it, it, it made the same amount Black Panther made in, like, a week, which is crazy. Um, but there's no direct leadership, okay? You have Kevin Feige from the Marvel Cinematic Universe that says, hey, from since day one, this is where we want to start, and this is where I want us to end. I want us to do this, and then I want us to end here. And Humans was a, was initially supposed to be a movie. They cut that out, put that to a show, because they probably realized it wasn't going to work with this stuff. And this, all we're, all we're having now has been planned since day one. DC had no plan. Since It's like, even if they did have a plan, Zack Snyder had a plan. I know he had a plan. He definitely had a plan. And Warner Brothers is like, nope. Nope. Let's cut this. Nope. Let's cut that. Nah. We don't want that. We don't want this. Ah, bump your idea, bro. We don't care about you. Nope, 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 nope. Disney's like this. He's like, hey, Kevin Feige, look, do what you gotta do. Just make us a lot of money. <laughs> That's it. We're gonna give you two hundred million dollars for for Black Panther or how much ever the budget was. You, you know, get whatever you need to do. Do whatever you need to do. I don't care. Just make us some money. That's it. Just You're in control of the creative process. You do what you got to do, Kevin. Okay, Kevin? I trust you, Kevin. Do what you got to do, Kevin. I trust you. Bring it back to me. Make us money. That's all we care about. 
You know, of course, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. We, we care a little bit about the fans too because, you know, some fan service goes a long way. We at Disney, we know that. We know that fan service goes a long way. So, you know, give them what they want to, you know, just make sure whatever you do, make us some money. Warner Brothers, on the other hand. Hey, uh, 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 Zach, um, uh, I don't like what you're doing with that. Uh, I think we'll make more money if, if I come in and do it. I, I I think if I this imagine it's like this it's like a, it's like um the scene from the Infinity War trailer where <laughs> Star Lord is like hey look I like your plan but it sucks let me do the plan and that way it might be good that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what, I've seen so much memes about that that's exactly what's going on at Warner Brothers like you know what let, let, let me go in uh no 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 Zach you know what no 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 I want you to make me money but 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 move this. Move that. Nah, we don't even want that. Matter of fact, I might even talk to you about that. I'm going to just go cut it. I ain't going to let you know. Matter of fact, you're actually fired. Uh, hey, Josh, come over here and, uh, and, and, do, and, and, and do stuff. Do what you do. Just make sure that you, you leave that in and you cut that out. Okay, let's just cut this. Okay, cool. Okay, guys. Well, good job, fellas. Uh, let's go. That's what's going on right now. Sad. Anyways, uh, 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 what's going on with, uh, you know, Shazam and, and Aquaman? Like I said, like I said, Shazam, we need to see what, what happens with that. Aquaman, we need to see what happens with that. Other than that, I'm very disappointed with what has been given to me. And I think the best step for DC right now, what DC needs to do, is rebrand. They need, they need to do to reboot everything. <laughs> I think they just need to take their time, get a good leader to plan out this universe. Plan it out. Take your time. Do it all over again. I wouldn't mind, okay? I'm probably going to be 42 when it happens, or maybe 50 when it happens. But just do it all over again and do it right. Do it right. Do it right from the beginning. The first three movies must connect. Do it right from the beginning, and I think we'll be on the right path. I think we'll be on the right path. Anyways, guys, y'all let me know in the comments what you thought, what you think about all this. Let me know what you think about all this. Do you think DC is officially dead? Do you think there's a chance to save DC? Do you think there's a chance to, for it to redeem itself? You let me know in the comments. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Clockmaster, out. Yo, thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe by pressing that button right over there. And if you want to help support the channel financially, go ahead and visit my Patreon page by clicking that button over there. And don't forget to check out these brand new videos down below.